Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is another video where I'm going to go teach myself a new language and see how it goes. So what I'm going to do today is, let's take a look, what are our options? Lua F sharp, let's do F sharp. Cool, 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 cool. Well, let's see there's some examples. Hello world. Okay, wow, that's that's a lot for I mean it's kind of the same as C sharp in the sense that that's you know a lot of writing just to to log something. Um but let's run it. Okay, but basically, as soon as I see that, the first thing I want to do is abbreviate that. So let's see, but can I do this? Can I do just, uh, let's actually look this up. Variables in F-sharp. Okay, let x equals 10. Okay, so let's do that. Ruffle. Say let log equal that and let's see if that makes life a little bit easier for me log hello world no no luck Ooh, a unique overload for method right line could not be a type annotation oh it needs type fun uh, let's keep reading on. Type function uh, storing a function in a variable in F sharp. Functions, friends, arguments, type functions. Oh, I do want to learn how to do that. So fun parameter two, etc. Expression. And if you if you don't if you don't know if you're not familiar with F sharp, it's a functional language. It's essentially supposed to be like Haskell. Um, so if you saw the video in Haskell, it's probably going to be very similar to that. But it's supposed to be like basically Microsoft's version of Haskell for the .NET environment. So if you wanted to do functional programming in .NET, F sharp is your choice. Um, but let's see here. Okay, let log. Okie dokie. Here's what I'll do instead. We'll just define a function. So let's do this. Fun log. Let's take a look at that syntax again. Let log. Nope, that's not the function one. Let add equal. Okie dokie. Let log. And it will take. Mm -hmm. God, it's really good variable to do it. Okay, so it's more to be like let log equal x and then all it does is uh, I forgot the name of the function it was either like system nope I need to refer to the thing there we go let log equals x system dot console dot right line x okay now let's see if that works it's expected incomplete structured construct adder for this point 
back over here. I don't need the parentheses, it's looking like when it's maybe the issue. It's finding at least with the symbol. Okay, so let's test this out. Okay, X plus one. So really it's gonna be an add one function, so we'll just call it that, add one. And let's system dot, I think it was that console dot right line, add one, five. So should get, does it give me six? Okay, so let add equal. So we also did this. Oh, I didn't use the word fun. I see. Let's try that fun. There we go. Cool. So let's go back to my original experiment. Okay, and let's see if I can do this. System dot console dot right line X and we'll make this log. And let's see here. I want to log Hello World. Mm, two, 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 two. Oh, that I spelled system. Yep, I spelled system wrong. Okay, I think we're getting closer. Ooh, they just told me to override that. Okie dokie, you got me. I'm just gonna have to type in system dot console that right line every time. That's a lot of typing. Hokey dokey. But we hey, we've made a function. So we know how to do that. Okay. And apparently there's another way you can do functions. You can just do this. That's kind of cool. So let's try that out. Uh, uh. So let's see if we do it that way. Add one. X equals X plus one. And then I will say add one. Five. We'll just say let x or let's let y equal result of that and then do a system dot console dot right line because why not oh uh, why <laughs> and does it give us six and it does give us six okay so that works so we can write a function in both those ways that's kind of nice Okay, let's see here. Let's go back to tutorials point. Let's see what else is worth learning. Basic syntax, data types, operators, decision making. Let's take a look at that. Let's see how the if statement works. If expression, then expression. Yes, yeah, so this is a, this is a lot like Haskell. Okay, uh, so let's say let x equal five if x equals 5 then system dot system dot console dot right line there's so much room to make mistakes there uh, equals it is 5 and then I'm assuming it's going to be like else let me just take a double check uh, no not there if then that's all fine and good. Mm. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, went to PHP there. System dot console dot right line. It is not five. So we're getting a variable, making it the value of five. Then yeah. And we'll see here. First let's do it where it is five. So I should get it is five. If this worked the way I think it should work. So I got an error. Operator. Okie dokie. Interesting. That raises another question. Let's take a look. Uh, program structure operators. So if the normal equality operator isn't what we use, what do we use for equality? Oh, we just use a normal equals checks with the values. Hmm. Yeah, let's just give it a shot, I guess. It says the type int does not support the operator that. Why wouldn't it? So we'll use this. See if that gives us a different result. This is one of those random languages that does use a single equal sign for equality. And it is. Okay. Now let's change this to three. I should get the other result. It is not five. Okay, so that's the deal there. Which I guess, I guess it's the they're using it. If it doesn't get preceded with a let, it doesn't become an assignment. But also, again, what you're doing here is that this let is not necessarily just declaring a variable and assigning it. You're really kind of binding an expression to a namespace because I remember reading about that when I was doing um, reason ML and OCaml like that they use let in that way and that's kind of a weird like nuance of functional programming so you can actually like bind several expressions to a namespace it's 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 interesting uh, I still haven't quite fully wrapped my head around it uh, okay so we got that let's take a look at loops Okay, so we got normal loops here. That's good. Okay, so let's see here. While... Let's see here. While test expression, body expression. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's create another... So, while... X is X is less than ten. Do and that's the syntax, right? So while then do this. Okay. And then they're reassigning it this way. I figured it was going to be something weird because you can't really reassign things in a functional language. So you must be like replacing it, I'm assuming. Oh, I see. We declared it as immutable. Okay. So, so then it becomes editable. Okay. Interesting. So let's do that. Let's make this mutable. Let mutable. Okay. So in that case, while x, what I want to do is console or System dot console dot right line, and we're gonna right line x, and then afterwards we're gonna say x equals x plus one, and that should be it. Did I have the right of that? Anything there at the end? No. So this should just work. So I should get like five through nine. Yep, we got five through nine, so that works. So we've done loops, we've done conditionals, we've created a function. Not so bad, right? 
and I know this is a functional language, so there's probably a bunch of other really fun stuff. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, we have classes in F-sharp. That's interesting. Uh, let's take a look at how they do it. That looks a little bit more verbose than it needs to be. Type, line. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. But let's take a look at that syntax again. So I guess you're using the end keyword here to mark the end of the class. Okay, we've got the basics, but you can see like we can do conditionals, we can do functions, we can do loops, and F sharp without too much. Luckily, we had done Haskell beforehand, which uh, a lot of this syntax is very reminiscent of, so that was helpful. Um, but my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy. And this was a brief uh, uh, learning F sharp really quick. Ciao.